Hey, y'all remember that Jay-Z uh, track? I got 99 problems, but uh, ain't one. This is my thing. I have 99 problems and money is number one. Okay, I have 99 problems and money is number one. Why is money number one? Because it doesn't grow on any tree or plants in my backyard. This checking, I don't see any of it because if it did, this wouldn't exist. If money grew on trees, this would not exist. YouTube, Google, Apple, none of these things would probably exist because all of this is curated by money, organization, and corporations and businesses, okay? 99 problems and money is our number one problem because it's not that we have too much money, it's because we don't have enough money. How about this? Have you chosen the life that you want to live? I really want you to ingrain. I want you to think. I want you to ponder. I really want you to really grasp that statement, that question. Have you chosen the life that you want to live? What am I talking about? What is he talking about? The life I want to live. I, I want to live good. I want to live. Do you want to be rich? Do you want to be filthy rich? Do you just want to be a high middle class or middle class or low middle class? Or do you want to live impoverished? How do you want to live? What do you want to have out of life? Because a lot of us would say, and I'm, I'm speaking in uh, ill will terms here. We want to have umpteen million dollars. We want to be billionaires, okay? Where we can simply go out and buy anything and everything we want and not even blink about it. That's a lot of us. Now, some of us are saying, well, no, I just want a simple life. I just want a nice place to live. I want a nice car. I want some money in the bank. And I just want to live well. I don't have to be rich. I don't have to marry nobody rich. I don't have to do any of those things. I just want to live well. Then live your life from what you choose you want your life to be. This is a thing. I want you to flip it. Flip mode, I want you to reverse it. I want you to backtrack. I want you to go from the finish line back to the start line. What am I getting at? You are not saving. You are not investing. You haven't budget and you're still in debt. You haven't done the things that you need to do in order to be where you want to be. If you want to be filthy rich, then live like you're filthy poor. Now, if you're filthy poor, then you're doing something wrong. You need to revamp. You need to revitalize whatever you're doing and get back on track. See, this is the thing. A lot of people in the middle class, and I'm in the middle class, a lot of people in the middle class, what do we do? We're the ones who live in paycheck to paycheck, okay? Because we take our money and we want nice things. We see how people live and we want the big house. We want the big cars. We want to wear the nice clothes. We want to go to the nice events and all these things. Are you saving for it? Are you budgeting for it? Because I do. Things that I set out years, months, I allocate money in order to do those things. Now, if you want to be filthy rich and you're not going to hit the lottery, that's gambling. You just lose a lot of money. Now, granted, it's probably one about a million who will hit, who say, oh, no, I hit. Okay, you're the exception of the rule. But most of us, if you want to be rich, filthy rich, then let me help you to be that. Here are some tips. In order to be filthy rich, you need to invent something. You need to invent something, okay? Then you need to patent it. Whether a design patent or utility patent, look that up. You need to invent something that everybody believes that they need. Because we don't need any of this crap. We don't need it. We want it, okay? Invent something that somebody thinks they need. That's the other thing. Start a business. Sales is all about selling things. Get into a business where everybody thinks they need it and they just actually want it. Maybe the other way to get rich is find a rich uncle or family member who died or who 
It's filthy rich and you don't know your family line. That's another way. Here's one, investing. Yes, investing. Now, this is the tricky part because there's a lot of people on the street who aggressively invest because they wanted to be rich and they ended up on the street. Now, when it comes to risky investment, I tend not to go that route, but more risk, more reward. Everybody knows that. That's why I tweak mine. I risk a little and I play in the middle and then I have some in the, you know, the savings part. So take for instance, Wellfront, right? They have this kind of uh, ticker, this meter that you say, how aggressively do you want to invest? It's one through 10. I'm around seven, 7.5, okay? And to me, that's safe. I believe when you get into eight, 8.5, even nine, you're putting all your, all your bread in one basket and it's gonna rot, okay? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stay exactly where I am and continue to diversify my investments throughout all of my portfolios and all the platforms that I'm doing. So, you have to come up with something that's totally different, or how about this? Maybe you have a hidden talent, maybe you can sing, maybe you can rap, maybe you can dance, maybe play football, basketball, baseball, soccer, tennis, hockey. Maybe you have a hidden talent, become pro. I'm just giving you different ways to become filthy rich like you want to be. Do I want to be filthy rich? Right now, I don't know because when you're in your life, when you're in a part of your life and you say, you know what? I have everything I need. You, you get what I'm trying to say? We get needs and wants crisscross, okay? We, we get them confused. Right now, I have everything I need, okay? I have a place to stay. Oh, is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. But we're talking about needs. I have a place to stay. I have food. And I have a form of transportation. Then you say, oh, well, we don't need a car. I'm talking about my feet. Pat and turn. You pat with one feet and you turn with the other. But, or I have a bike. So I have many modes of transportation. This is what I need. But when it comes to what I want, I wanted a nice house. So I worked my butt off and I got me a nice house and I got money in my savings. I have a car. I wanted a nice car. I worked my butt off. I saved and I bought me a nice car. I wanted a nice wife. I worked my butt off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going there. I'm just kidding. But anyway, hopefully you get my point because 99 problems and money is our number one problem. So you need to choose your lifestyle. You need to choose where you want to be and understand what you need to do to get there. This is Ross where we're going to work hard. We're going to pound the pavement. We're going to penny pinch. We're going to be frugal in our mindset and frugal in what we do. I'm out.